Call the member for Prospect. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As I have mentioned a number of times before the Parliament, the electorate of Prospect has a vibrant, active and growing Australian Armenian community. This is a community that contributes to our significant multicultural society where we live in harmony and tolerance. I have also previously spoken concerning issues associated with the genocide and persecution of the ethnic Armenian community during the time of the Ottoman Turks and since that time at the hands of the regimes such as the Azerbaijan dictatorship and the evil known as Daesh in northern Iraq and Syria. Recently, a group of members from the Armenian Youth Federation of Australia who live in the electorate of Prospect and other neighbouring electorates in Western Sydney held a silent protest at the Azerbaijani uh, Embassy in Canberra to remind Baku that Armenians have not forgotten the injustice associated with the murder of Lieutenant Jurgen Margarian in 2004. The story behind this protest shows that even today, discrimination and violence towards ethnic Armenians continue. Fifteen years ago, on the 19th of February 2004, with an axe in his hand, the then Azerbaijani army captain, Ramil Sahil Safarov, brutally delivered 16 blows to the sleeping body of an Armenian army lieutenant, Jogun Marigan, to the extent of almost decapitation, when both officers were attending a NATO Partnership for Peace program in Hungary. After this first murder, Safarov then attempted to murder a second Armenian officer attending the program, but was prevented, prevented by doing so and arrested by Hungarian law enforcement. On April 13, 2006, a Hungarian court sentenced Safarov to life imprisonment without a right of appeal for 30 years. In this judgment, uh, presiding justice Andreas Vaskut stated, Safarov had no remorse for the premeditated nature and brutality of his crime. The murder of a sleeping man in peacetime is always a crime and cannot be an act of heroism. At the time of the murder, many government officials in Azerbaijan publicly praised Safarov's actions. The Azerbaijani dictatorship also continued to foster armenophobia in its rhetoric and propaganda. Most striking is that a nation with a documented history of widespread and ongoing human rights abuses directed towards minorities and political opponents, um, Ilmira Salu Mananov, the Human Rights Commissioner of Azerbaijan, declared that Safarov's punishment was far too harsh and that, I quote, Safarov must become an example of patriotism to the Azerbaijani youth. On the 31st of August 2012, after serving only eight years of his life sentence, a negotiated diplomatic deal between the governments of Azerbaijan and Hungary saw Safarov extradited to Azerbaijan, where upon arrival he was greeted by President uh, Aliyev. During the negotiation for Safarov's extradition, President Aziov ha had assured the Hungarian government, the Armenian government and the representatives of the European Union that Safarov would serve the remainder of his sentence in prison. But instead, his, this convicted murderer was immediately issued a pardon and gifted a full military parade declared a national hero before being promoted to the rank of major and rewarded with, a, with an apartment and, ironically, eight years of back pay. I join my Armenian community in calling on the New South Wales government to join with the governments of Hungary, the United States, the Russian Federation, France, the United Nations and the European Union in condemning this pardon and pr the President Ayoff's disregard of international criminal law and convention and even Azerbaijan's own criminal code, which states prisoners serving a life sentence for capital crimes can only be released after having served a minimum of a period of 25 years. This event is not the first time or act the Azerbaijan dictatorship has acted this way towards Armenian ethnics, uh, ethnic Armenians, rather, but it will always demonstrate the character of this government. To those who support Sarafov, I say murder of innocence is not and will never be an example of patriotism. This is the very attitude that has fostered aminophobia in Azerbaijan, a very state-nurtured racism towards Armenians that convinces Azerbaijanis to act with such hatred towards ethnic Armenian men, women and children, especially in the Republic of Arsak. This is why the, the uh, Azerbaijani dictatorship's demand to bring the Republic of Arsak under its control, including the fledging democracy of 150,000 Armenian citizens, must be resisted by the international community. The international community must join with the state of New South Wales in recognising the Republic of Arsac, recognising that the people of Arsac deserve the right to self-determination and the right to live in peace and security on their ancestral homeland. 
I look forward to continuing to work with him in the community to make this inspiration a reality. Private member statements have